Hey everyone, Dogmatic Someone here, and welcome to Dogmatic DIY. Today, I'm going to make this holder here. Just a centerpiece holder, and I want to make it rustic so it matches my um, faux beam light that I made recently. So it'll be in the centerpiece of the dining room table. And my wife decorated it, but I'm just going to show you how to make this little beam nice, quick, and easy. So let's get started. So well, my video that was supposed to go before this was corrupt. So um, I'll start from here. What you're going to do is <clears throat> similar to my faux beam uh, light that I did. I can put it in uh, uh, a little link here at the top. So you can, if you wanna see that video, but I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, the only thing that different is I don't need to have the bottom with 45s since it's just gonna sit on uh, the table, right? So, what I did is, let me get some widths here so you can see where we're going here. So, as you can see, the inside is like, oh, a one by five, right? Then I got the sides as a one by four. I'm oh, sorry, you couldn't see that. One by four, one by five. So, also what I did is you can see the length is 17 and a half, right? Well, 17 and three quarters. The reason I did that is just because this piece is already existing, right? So I kind of built it around that. So I'm using scrap pieces of one by fours, one by fives, one by sixes, or whatever I have around the house from um, building my other projects. Right, so if you've seen my shelf project, I had my shelf project there. Um, that and the full beam were pretty much built with this stuff. So as you can see, like I've got little pieces here. So I just did what I had to make it like that. So my wife wanted it wider. That's uh, that's why I'm using that beam or that beam, that piece of wood rather than a thinner one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sand it down and then I'm going to distress it. So it looks like um, the beam above it because it's going to go on the dining room table. Uh, and the faux beam light is going to be right above this. So this way it could kind of match. You're going to have fo foliage or whatever you want to call that. Fake plants hanging over the side or whatever. Depends on the season, right? But this way, you know. If it's, you can see it, it will uh, resemble what's above it, right? So it'll kind of blend in to the surroundings, I guess what you'd say. So let me sand this down and then we'll start uh, distressing it. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm doing is, I, since I've used brad nails to put this together, I'm going to fill the brad nail holes, even though it's gonna make it look, I'm gonna make it look all like an old, <clears throat> beam I still want didn't want to see the nails so I can beat it up so what I did is I just took a little bit of wood glue English carpenter's glue wood glue and some sawdust I keep a little uh, jar of sawdust around just because it's mostly pine sawdust it matches and then when I sand it down I will be able to it'll blend in okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna sand it down and then I'll come back all right so now I've sanded it down I've filled the nail holes and then I've distressed it so what I've done is taken a screwdriver put kind of some lines in here just like scrapes uh, some old nail lines here um, 
some dents with the hammer or the tooth and what I did is I don't know if you can see it but it was kind of scraped off the sharp edge kind of you can see it's kind of wavy there all around kind of nicked it up I had of an old hand planer with kind of a crappy uh, dull blade so I did that and then I kind of sanded it that off just to get the loose stuff off so now i'm going to put my first coat of special walnut on and then after that we'll come and uh, take a look at it because usually what i'll do is afterwards before i put a second coat i'll kind of take the little bit of the ebony the black steam and just put it in the, the little indents a little bit with a rag just to kind of make it look even older so let me get some stain on here and we'll come back. Okay, now that I got a couple coats of poly on here, you can see kind of how the finished product turned out. I put a little bit of felt feet here so it doesn't scratch the table. And I got it all banged up to kind of look kind of rustic. But I mean, <clears throat> just put a little bit, just or color on the inside in case there's kind of little gaps. I don't know how my wife's going to fill this up in, right? So I figured I'll put some stain in a little bit and a coat of poly on the inside as well. But other than that, it's a quick, easy project. <clears throat> if you watched it from the beginning, you'll know how simple this is. You can get, if you get a scrap one by four or Got some scrap pieces of pine left. Um, you don't even have to be pine. And it could be anything. You could even use fence boards, right? So if you really wanted to, um, pretty simple project. Uh, bang it up to make it look rustic. Add some the stain of your choice. You know, and then put some poly or some top coat on it and you're done. So if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I post another video, and we'll talk to you later.